Hey guys, welcome back, Ralph's Automotive. Uh, figured I'd make a quick video on this one. Uh, I'm not going to show you, uh, just tell you about it. I hadn't seen one of these here in a little bit. Uh, this is a 2014 Dodge Charger. This is the RT flavor. And uh, as you can see, already kind of like a giveaway that uh, thing is up in the air and we're uh, draining the oil out of it. So. Uh, what this came in here for, he's got a check engine light P3497. That is cylinder deactivation system on the bank too. Now, uh, as far as the uh, uh, individual, you know, the Mr. I Fix My Own Stuff, uh, there's not a whole lot you're going to be able to do unless you have a professional scan tool. Uh, what it amounts to is there is several possibilities for this. Uh, the solenoids that activate the cylinder deactivation. The solenoids that activate the cylinder deactivation. That good one. Uh, any, <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, what that code basically uh, is reporting. Uh, we're seeing a lean condition on bank two. Uh, the oxygen sensor monitors and uh, what it mounts to is when the vehicle is supposed to be in, in this uh, four cylinder mode, uh, it's actually not in the four cylinder mode. I, I'm not going to go through the whole entire thing, but anyway, the solenoids open up and give the, uh, the lifters enough uh, pressure, oil pressure to deactivate or not deactivate, but uh, push a deactivation pin that lets them collapse that's in a nutshell how that works possibility here for this uh, is uh, uh, dirty oil chambers low oil pressure so dirty oil chambers low oil pressure uh, the screens are stopped up and more often than not what we see and I think I, I now that I think this is the reason I'm heading this way first is uh, wrong motor oil. Full synthetic only should not have conventional motor oil in it. I think that's exactly what they had in it judging by Alright, I'm gonna have to cut in here. I've done butchered it once again. Uh, what I was gonna say is a lot of people just put uh, straight 530 in it. 530 shouldn't be in this vehicle. Uh, on the 6.4 liter Hemi, uh, manufacturer record or manufacturer says that it should have full synthetic oil only. They haven't upgraded the 5.7 Hemi yet uh, to that same level, but uh, in my opinion, uh, synthetic should go in anything, especially with knowing that they put so much more of that uh, crap. Uh, you know emissions crap into these engines uh, that's all that's all making for a higher failure rate so uh, anyway I just wanted to fix that statement uh, $30 price tag that they paid for the last oil change uh, I don't think you can get an oil change with full synthetic for uh, no 30 bucks but I may be wrong on that can't get that here I'd have to add a little bit of money on on the job but anyway uh, scan tool, like I said, most of you won't have that option to activate the um, solenoids. We did that. I actually did all of them regardless, bank one, bank two, I did all of them. Uh, one, seven, two and six, four and six, can't remember now. Anyway, doesn't matter. Anyhow, uh, we went through all the solenoids multiple times. We can clearly hear them pulling clicking you know pretty hard so they they are opening up uh, so after that I decided well go ahead and clear the code because this code comes or uh, according to service data it's supposed to come right back if the problem persists that code on the, the third time uh, the system goes into uh, uh, activation mode that code is supposed to be coming back and that code never did come back when I tested over it a while ago so hence the vehicle being on the lift and we're going to do an oil change uh, not going to charge uh, the customer full diagnostics on it help him out a little bit we're going to cut diagnostic cost a little bit because I didn't really do a whole heck of a lot so um, 
we'll we'll go the route with the oil change uh, for right now I told the customer if the problem persists there is going to be uh, it's going to be more involved money wise and uh, time wise for me to do it uh, we got to get the intake off of it to get to the solenoids to do the actual inspection of it uh, uh, customer opted or I suggested to the customer to start here first that way I know there is good oil in it and uh, I will recommend to the customer that uh, before the next oil change that we are going to put a little bit of sea foam or something like that in it let it uh, let it circulate a little bit before we do the oil change and uh, well long story short this is where I'm at that's what we're going to do I just wanted to share that with you in case you get in that coat I'm going to go ahead and post all that on, on uh, YouTube that way if you get that coat you have a basic idea now I hope uh, to what it does and why it sets that coat so anyway uh, I guess I'm not going to show you how to do the oil change on this thing uh, uh, pretty self explanatory so I'm going to end the video here I figured I share that I hope that helps somebody you know uh, I, I guess I could have pulled that up on a scan tool and show you how you can activate these solenoids but uh, if you if you're checking them at home odds are you're gonna do it with a car battery or something like that anyway so you know you do the solenoids by putting power and ground and, and see if they open and close uh, there is screens around it of course that can stop up but anyway guys thanks for watching you all head on down to that comment box leave some comments like subscribe we see you on the next one uh, a little bit of bonus uh, well, if you want to call it that, I figured I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'll show you. Let me get my noggin out of the way. Hopefully the camera can see it from right there. Uh, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to back out. Uh, back out of this menu and let you listen to it. I think the camera can pick this up. So... Cylinder one deactivation. So on number six, of course, we got uh, uh, bank two. So six is the one that we wanted to look at. This was number one. There was no problem with bank one. It was on bank two. So, cylinder number six. Let's switch over to the other side. Cylinder number four. Well, not the other side, but the the other side of my screen soon on number seven So that's basically how I did. You can hear the, uh, we can also toggle it in here. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to go that far. Uh, but when you toggle it, you can hear it activate up and down and up and down. So anyway, uh, I figured I'd throw that in. Didn't want to leave you hanging on that part. Uh, make sure that you knew that I'm not just telling you a story. So anyway, 